news the other day. Some stuff happened, I'm afraid to say. I can't believe the world today. Hi there, gorgeous souls, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome here if it's the first time you come. Uh, in this channel, you may expect relationships, love, uh, quantum jumping, and today I have a talking, it's not an interview, it's a talking with a good friend. She is a beauty queen from Kenya, based in Paris. Say hello to my audience, Sylvia. Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here and an honor to be on your platform, on your channel, Barbara, because you have amazing energy that I am happy to exchange with and be able to just talk, have a good talk. And oh, thanks so much, Sylvia. You can find the link to Sylvia's channel, YouTube channel, here in the description below. Before yeah. we start, I have a quiz for you. The $1 million question today is, what is this for? For washing salad or sieving a pasta? For those who don't know Sylvia yet, she had a restaurant. The thing is, every everything today has multiple uses. Huh? When you use a cream in your in your face, the cream has to have sunscreen protection. Yeah. When you take uh, everything's got to be more than one use. This morning, this is special in my bathroom, not in the kitchen, and I use it to blow dry my hair. Wow. <laughs> oh, Sylvia, the other day you asked me how I, <laughs> I make my hair. Yeah, it's always looking gorgeous. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. You are also gorgeous, my dear. <laughs> yeah, I have to encourage, encourage my curls to come. Otherwise they are, so what do I do? First, I wash my hair with my head upside down. So the roots are upside down. Then with the, heart, with the hair absolutely wet, I use a very soft towel, but I don't squish it like this to, no. I just squeeze a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. And when with the hair absolutely soaking wet, mm -hmm. I put some cream on it and then I blow dry using this. I do it like this, Sylvia, to encourage the curls to come. Uh -huh. So you put the heat under that? Yep. Oh. Or like this. <laughs> You put the heat and that leaves it curly like the way it is. So yes. you don't put you don't put rolls. This is my diffuse diffuser. Wow. This is my diffuser. That is, is amazing. That... <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Going. the hair is looking dazzling. I thought you're using rolls or something of the sort. Tell us how do you grow your love and relationship to be always like beaming with joy and you know what what are the tricks that you're using to make everything bubble with joy and fun yeah sylvia we come from different cultures uh, your culture and mine are totally different regarding to love and relationships i am a latin woman and we latin are so ooh, jealous i cannot stand really? I'm, uh, yes i don't believe in sharing the boyfriend. I believe in sharing the bread, but not the boyfriend. <laughs> but you know, jealous is a global thing. You know, there's the healthy jealous and there's the normal jealous. Like, hey, don't look at my man or something of the sort. But uh, I, I used to be jealous at some point, but then I found out like when you go get jealous, you over control things and you're frustrated. 
and, and yet if you let go and especially when you give like let's say permission tell them like oh you go have fun you go enjoy yourself they never do anything but if you <laughs> What are you doing? Where are you? Who are you with? Like that's no, when you no. end up probably doing things, you know, something of the sort. So there is a good jealous and there is a bad jealous. No, I'm not jealous like this. Uh you can do a lot. He can do a lot. He can dance with another woman, he can talk to another woman, he can flirt with another woman, but he cannot kiss another woman or go to bed with another of woman. Course. But Uh, have a uh, have a, uh, a friend that is another woman no problem have good friend he's got a lot of uh girlfriends but yeah. not but i am the girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> i am the number one and of that's course, important to me of course of course and you know uh, we are talk to, to i don't know if you know a little bit uh you speak a bit about spirituality and there's always a little bit of contradiction because you see people say we don't believe in the old version of the bible anymore because jesus came and renewed everything but then we have the 10 commandments and the seventh commandment says you shall not commit adultery so it goes in a long way to say that if a relationship is bound unless you're divorced and let the other person go in peace it is good enough but if you're together then to try and avoid going out of the relationship is what makes it also just uh, to be uh, to flow well and to be <laughs> blessed i guess <laughs> oh yeah sir in the old testament there is a lot of multiple marriages oh, yeah oh, this okay. guy married this and this and that woman i cannot handle this <laughs> hey attention like, here attention here <laughs> very true very true by the way it that's that's the contradiction about the bible a little bit because the prophets had and you even see like abraham who was really uh like the best of uh, the version with the relationship with god but he still ended up sleeping with the maid when the wife insisted like hey make the baby with the maid or something of the sort and he did so there's a lot of um contradiction in a way and abraham is the father of the three biggest biggest religions of the world yes it is and yeah. even so you see that yeah but if you have a very funny story before you got married you found a girlfriend to your husband what can you can you explain the the climate letter just because i don't get it <laughs> in um in 2007 i walked to have an interview into this hotel because i worked in the foster hotel uh it was just my first job uh, out of school and everything so i walk in and i see this gorgeous man like and i was like i walked in and i was like god there is my husband right away the first time you saw him you knew that he was yeah. going to be your husband that happened also to me and i said it out loud i was like god there is my husband so i'm walking in i don't know who he is he doesn't know who i am and immediately i just looked and i was like god there is my husband but you see for the first six months we didn't like each other like he didn't like my confidence because i had so much confidence in myself at work and my colleagues <laughs> didn't like that at the beginning but you see I, you know when you when you know what you're doing when you're in your place when you're in a position of I mean, you know, confidence and you know what you're doing to you think at that point. So they realize in the long run, I'm just who I am. And so they started getting fond of the person that I am later on. So we'd go out and everything and uh, get to do things together as friends and all that. So we became very, very good and tight friends. And as he wanted to be with me at that time, I kept on telling myself like, no, I have to be 100% convinced that he really wants me and so one time he decides to ask for a dinner in my house and comes with this huge flowers like literally to make the other person think like hey you're wasting this lady's time i mean she she can be with a better person in short or something of the sort which wasn't so good but anyway <laughs> in the long run <laughs> i wanted to be 100% sure that he really has a reason why he wants me so i i decided to to give him a girl and believe it or not barbara uh, i thought when, yes 
yes i know it was it was another calling so i thought it's not gonna work anyway but after like two weeks or three weeks it's working out well and i was like holy moly what am i gonna do like my heart was sinking inside after one month i literally got jealous like i couldn't take <laughs> eating me up so much so i i prayed and i was like god what have i done this is just the most stupid thing like i ever did in my life and so i it it was eating me up so much i took a ticket i asked my boss i was like i need to go away from here i can't take it uh there's something wrong like i really need to go away i can't breathe or anything i took a ticket and i went to kenya and oh. uh, so the you know, the whole thing, I, and I'm not telling him, but he could actually see there's something wrong, like I'm not okay or something of a sort. But he's not asking me exactly like what's wrong or anything. So I took the ticket, I went to Kenya and my heart is racing at the same time. And I'm just like, God, what did I do? Like, what has just happened? I just lost my husband, <laughs> but I didn't fight. I didn't ask anything. I didn't tell him anything. So I went away for three weeks and I decided to just try and uh, have the holiday, but my, I wasn't at peace. I was, I was confused, you know, not knowing like um, what to think and everything, but I told God, like, do your thing. It's not my, it's not my battle. Do your thing. That's a great thing to do when you cannot handle it. You do your part yeah. and you deliver to God and God yeah. finds the solution. That's really something that a lot of people should learn how to do that because 90% of the things that we cannot yeah. control, we just it's, put in God's hands and yeah, comes to the good point. So now I, I, I finished the holiday and when I'm headed back to Paris in the first day and I'm, I enter the door like this on my first day at work, he's the one welcoming, he comes and, you know, hey, welcome back. So now that you're convinced I'm no longer with the person, are you happy now that uh, uh, it didn't work because I have tried what you wanted? I'm available for you now. It's the first thing he's telling me at the door when I'm arriving like at work from holiday. So hey. my husband is my, my first baby. <laughs> okay my, my two babies and then my business is like my baby <laughs> ah Sylvia yeah I fully understand so that's how the journey began and it has been uh, 11 years uh lasting so I thank God for it oh Sylvia that's an awesome story <laughs> but I, I I don't have the guts to say to my boyfriend yeah you go try this other woman and if it doesn't work work out you can come back to me yeah, yeah, beautiful story. No, but I cannot do that. I absolutely can't. Uh, he, he can dance with another woman, talk to another woman, have fr be friends, but not go to bed or kiss. I have to be the only one. Otherwise, it breaks my heart. I, I can't handle that. Sorry. Yeah. That's how I am. <laughs> but here in the Netherlands, the relationships are more fluid than they are in Brazil. Really? Yeah, they are more fluid. I could say that. Okay. But I have a great relationship now and I am really glad with my boyfriend. And I'm, That's wonderful. I That's found wonderful. one. And it's, I, what you said, that you, when you saw your husband for the first time, you knew that happened to me with the father of my sons uh, oh. 35 years ago. And with the boyfriend that I have now, I, I had a dream about oh, him really? a, a dream yeah 18 months before i met him i didn't wow. know i didn't know that was going to to happen because i was uh, back then in another relationship and i wasn't even thinking about getting out of the relationship uh, yeah, he, yeah. he was not he was not in the picture at all at all not in the picture at all i was convinced to make my other relationship work no matter what so I stayed and stayed and stayed until it was not possible anymore and bad things happened and I had to, to move on. But 
I was really making my ex-boyfriend my project. (laughs) 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 And of course, and of course it didn't work because it takes two to tango. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you, that's how you realize also it was a toxic relationship because it wasn't in, um, it wasn't a two-way thing, yeah? Yeah, it, at the beginning it was, at the beginning it was, we were together for almost uh, five years, but the two first oh, years, wow. he was, he was into it, but uh, then he, he gave, just gave up a little by little and I was feeling alone in a relationship, but I, I'm, I'm loyal and I wanted to make it work and I loved him. So I stayed and stayed and stayed, uh, hoping that yeah. it was going to be great again, how it was at the beginning, but it didn't. Yeah. But you know, that's also an answer to your first question. How am I so positive in a relationship now? Because I have experience, because I'm 54 as we record this video. I At still, this moment, I, I am still 54. don't believe it. I still don't believe it. Like. You look so young. (laughs) Oh, thank you so much, my dear. But that is also the secret. You learn with your past experiences. Everything that happens for you, not to you, but for you, is there to teach you a lesson. Every person that comes to your life, there is nothing that has ever happened to you or will still ever happen that is useless. Nothing. So very true. Every experience builds us to the next destination. I believe all the time because uh, I, I, at the beginning when I went, I had the depression of like ten months. When I went through that, I was just feeling like the whole world hates me. The whole world has crashed on me. My whole world is over. But one thing uh, I was forgetting: I had my entire world with me. I had my babies with me I had my husband with me so that was my world that I had forgotten I thought the things all that I lost all the wealth and the money that we lost I felt like that was everything but when you remember and realize what you have what is more valuable it it just enables you to become so strong your heart muscle becomes stronger and you're capable of making things better. And I just see even the experience, even through my student life, because I have been taking care of myself since I was 19 years old. And there are those times when you want to cry, you feel like, I mean, what, 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 what's the point? Why should it be so hard? Why should life be so complicated and everything? But through it all, you gain so much strength and so much stamina because you're fighting towards something big. You're telling yourself like, I am made for a greater purpose. I am made for greater inspiration in life. And so through such experiences, at that point in time, you don't realize that it's, um, that it's important. Oops. Uh, Absolutely truth. Absolutely truth, Sylvia. When I lost this other relationship that I was with, the first okay. second that I wake up, I was okay. Then I wake, uh, then I open my eyes and I see, hey, I'm not at home. So the second second, I was already with this wall over my chest. It was hard to breathe. It was like the the world was upside down. I had no more floor under my feet. I was in in a really uh, um, body pain. I felt like somebody has stick a knife in my whole body and and read me, tore me apart. And, yeah, yeah. But th- those things happen for you to realize what's important and, and also to give value when you have something again. So after that, I met my boyfriend, uh, my, the boyfriend that I am right now, and I'm absolutely dazzling. I'm, uh, it is a fantastic. I wake up every day. He asks me. How was your, how did you sleep? What did you drink? It's so wonderful, yeah. You know, it is, the little is things, looking, little yeah. things, always kind and nice <laughs> and supportive. A person that is there for me, he likes what I do. He doesn't have to believe in everything that I believe, but he respects me. He allows me to be who I am and he loves sure. my confidence and he loves that sure, I sure. don't give up. 
about what other people think. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because when you let what other people think control you, it, it, it makes you not you. It makes you become somebody else. Well, if you just forget what other people are saying and what they think, it doesn't really matter because they're not the ones who put food on your table. I am 100% with you. I don't care what people think. If they don't resonate with who I am and with what I do and with my ideas, yeah. they're not my audience. Just leave exactly. and let live. They can live their lives. We are all equal. We are all the same. No one worth is more than the other. So they have yes. different facts. We will all make it. We will all go to the same point. But some people choose other paths. I choose this path. You can choose another path. And it is yeah. okay. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Let me live my life. And I'll, leave you, I'll let you live yours. No problem at all. That's I the don't... reason why Master, Master always says your vibe is your tribe. That you will connect with the right people at the right time. And you see, like, personally, I have been part of a tribe for like a year and a half and everything. And I wasn't connecting. But I walked into SIA and I, it's just been so amazing, such an amazing journey. Like, look at us chatting here and we didn't know each other last year. We knew each other this year and it has been amazing. I'm connected with Tameke here. I'm connected with Brenda. I'm, as in, I'm having a fabulous time because I'm having true and real connection with people now. And it's, it's, it feels great. So when you're aligned with people who have the same objectives as you and doing similar projects together, it actually makes the whole project more natural, more fascinating and interesting in a way also. By the way, she's talking about Master Sri Akarshna and I am yeah. truly grateful for him because I have found a very good tribe online. A very good tribe. Yeah, your vibe is your tribe. We are like a family here and I'm really exactly. grateful for him and for his knowledge that he shares so gracefully with a lot of people through his channel. Now, okay. Sylvia, my yeah. dear, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you, yeah, everybody yeah. enjoyed this video. You can find Sylvia's channel in the description below. This was a very funny and nice conversation. Thank you for being here, Sylvia. It's an honor. Thank you so much for having me uh, on your platform. Just continue being dazzling, continue being smiley and jovial as you are. It's sharing your joy with the world that is going to impact somebody else and make them feel better. Thanks, Sylvia Shares, the queen beauty of Kenya, mother and coach for entrepreneurs. Now, yes, namaste. Yes. Namaste. Turn on the news the other day. Some stuff happened I'm afraid to say. I can't believe the world today. How can this be? Land of the free home of the free.